Hey guys, this is Barbie Decker. I am making this video and I'm only doing it and trying it once to explain how I came up with my meal plan following the Body Beast Nutrition. Whoa, wait a second. There we go. The Body Beast Nutrition Guide. Okay. My hope is that in explaining the process that I went through, trying to figure out how many calories I need and what to eat, you'll be able to do the same, right? So first things first, I calculated my calories that I need to eat for phase one and phase two, okay? I use the updated, um, the updated calorie calculator, which you can find on my blog, barbiedecker.com, and you can download it yourself. Okay, so I'm not gonna spend my time talking about how I came up with that calculation. Or I actually can, I don't wanna pull it up right now. But basically, I multiplied my weight, I'm about 128 pounds on any given Sunday, times 12, because I'm active, but since I work from home, I'm not extremely active, right? So that gave me 1,536 calories. And really, that's about right, because I've done um, the body fat testing, and it said that I need 1,500 calories just to function. That's not even with me doing anything. Like if I just stood still and pretty much did nothing else, I need 1,500 calories, okay? So that tells you something already. That tells you that we should not be afraid to eat. Like so many people, so many women, because really I'm talking to the women here, you're afraid to eat. Get rid of this fear, you guys. Being on a 1,200 calorie meal plan might help you lose weight for at first, but after a while, I mean, I've been through this. I've gone through this, right? I've dieted and I've done the low calorie plan, but after a while, it's going to stop working, okay? So I personally need 1,536 calories, more or less, in order for my body to function, right? So for phases one and two, I was supposed to add a thousand calories. So I should be eating about 2,500 calories per day in phase one and two. And then when I go to phase three, when I want to lean out, I'm going to be eating about 1,800 calories per day. Okay. So I totally understand as a woman to eat 2,500 calories seems so ridiculously scary. I get it. Okay. But if you look at the testimonials from women who have followed the nutrition plan to the T, their results are gorgeous and they do not look like dudes and they don't look too big. They look great. So that gives me confidence. And plus, I eat this way all the time, okay? Just, I mean, I obviously I live with Sagi and so I, I, I follow the beast way of life, right? So 2,400 calories, 2,536. I'll tell you something about me. I am not a details person anywhere in my life, okay? If I see 2,500 calories and I refer to the book that gives me the breakdown of what 2,400 calories looks like in terms of how many starchers, how many legumes, how many veggies, how many fruits and carbs, etc., I'm gonna follow 2,400 calories. Something that I see on Facebook a lot is, oh my God, uh, the Body Beast Nutrition Plan only includes a 2,000 calorie plan and I have to eat 1,800 calories. That's, you're talking about 200 calories. You're talking about like an apple and a teaspoon of uh, almond butter or something like that. Not even, okay? Guys, you are not a computer. It's not an exact science. Like stop being so anal because I think that being a perfectionist or being so super duper anal just gets in your way. So I need 2,536 calories. I see the 2,400 calorie meal plan thing, right? That chart that tells you how, to, how it breaks down. I'm gonna follow the 2,400 calorie plan. And if I wanna add a little bit, I'm gonna add a little bit. So again, that's just me. That's not Sagi speaking. I'm talking as myself, right? This whole video is as myself and my experience using this, um, this nutrition plan and how I would go about it. So, so I turn to the page that tells me 
where is it? That tells me how it breaks down and I've actually got it on my screen share. So I created this document just for you guys, right? So it tells me that in a 2400 meal, a calorie meal plan, I need six starches, three legumes or protein liquids. The list of what a protein liquid is, is in here. You'll also see what your options are for legumes, right? Beans, for example. Veggies or balanced liquids. Fruits or carbs. Protein. People see like 9, 10, 11 uh, protein and they freak out. Don't freak out. Five fats, the hardcore base shake, and fuel shot two scoops. Okay, we, meaning like in Beachbody, we recommend that. And, and actually, Sagi, so for the best results, you use the supplements. But that's completely up to you. One supplement that I do always use every day is Shakeology. Okay, and it's actually going to make it easier for you to get all this food in. Okay, so that's what I know that I need. So I literally, actually, first I tried it with a piece of paper and then it started to get messy. But then I decided, okay, why don't I do this document? So I did four, one, two, three, four, five columns. I did breakfast, as you see in front of you, snack, lunch, snack, dinner. Okay, you don't have to label it that. You can label it meal one, meal two, meal three, meal four, meal five, meal six if you have six meals. Got it? And then I was like, okay, right? Then I used logic and I said, okay, for breakfast, I like to eat starches. I like to eat, um, I used to eat oatmeal. I eat brown rice cereal now. So that's a starch. I'll probably have egg whites. And so I just started dividing, divvying up this list, six starches, three legumes, five, leg, uh, five veggies, six carbs, 12 proteins, and fat. And I just started dividing it up, divvying it up amongst the five meals, okay? So I played with it a little bit, and I'm like, okay, for breakfast. And then I was looking at this list, right? So for starches, okay, let's see what my options are. And I'm just looking at it. And my book, I don't know if there are different versions of the book. I think there are. It's page 59. And I'm like, hmm, I don't see cream of rice here. And oddly enough, I don't know if it's a mistake or what, I don't see oatmeal here, okay? But I do see, get this, you guys, um, brown rice, right? So one third cup. So all the starches on this list are 80 calories, right? So that means that if I don't find oatmeal, for example, or cream of rice, it's still a starch, and cream of rice is great for you. So he actually eats cream of rice. It's 80 calories. So I'm going to go find out what serving of cream of rice is going to equal 80 calories, okay? I'll get to that in a minute. So anyway, so let's say that I wanted to have, I'm looking at this. Um, oh, oatmeal is on here. Um, oatmeal is half a cup, right? So I would have, if I wanted to have three starches, I would have a cup and a half of oatmeal. That's a lot, okay? But yummy. All right, so for proteins, I'm like, okay, what am I likely to have? I'll probably have egg whites. That's what I, I really do have egg whites every morning. And so, okay. And then fruit, I would went to see the list. And we're going to get more specific in a second. And then fat, I love cashew butter. I love it. So I'm like, ooh, I'm happy to have some fat in the morning. Okay, great. So I felt pretty comfortable with three starches, three proteins, one fruit, one fat as my breakfast, right? I'm going to input these in a little bit, and I'll show you what I did, into my fitness pal, which I hadn't used in years. Because the great news is, you guys, that after a while, you just get a sense of what you need to do. And then you, you, know, you have this basic outline of what you're gonna have for breakfast, snack, lunch, dinner, that you just, you just kind of know what to do. And so you don't have to be such a stickler, right? And I used to be a stickler, thank God I'm not anymore, but I'm doing this for your benefit so that you can really see how it breaks down. Okay, for my snack, I was really happy to see that Shakeology can count as one legume instead of eating beans. I was like, okay, that's great. So I put it in there and I'm like, okay, a fruit and a fat. And then basically I went on and on with this with all of my meals, right? So it does seem, I'll admit, it does seem like a lot of food. Um, and you can have six meals so that it doesn't feel like so much food at the same time at once, you know, with each of the meals. But for me, 
and I've also done metabolic typing. And so I know that I personally do best when I have three meals and then two little snacks in between. So this worked out great for me. Okay. So this actually took me a while and I don't want to make you think that you're just gonna, that I expect you to, um, to take your piece of paper and to look at your list up here, right? And to say, okay, you know, one starch here, one starch there, but you're going to have to mess with it, right? And you're going to have to play with it and have fun with it. Like you can change it, okay? So then I wanted to make sure that I got everything, okay? I wanted to see, I wanted to check that I had gotten all of these things up here. So I checked my checklist and then I noticed that I had, that I, I hit almost everything and honestly, I'm just not used to eating so much fruit and I don't know where the heck to fit the fruit, okay? Like, that's a lot of fruit. And I could hear Sagi's voice saying like, you don't have to have fruit, like then don't have all that fruit, like have something else, right? Again, this is not an exact science. I know you wanna get the best results, but this is just like life. You kind of have to go with the flow, okay? So I don't feel comfortable, when I looked at the list, I didn't feel comfortable eating six cups of fruit, and it's not telling me to eat six cup of fruit, cups of foods. I don't drink cow's milk or chocolate milk, um, so I didn't really know what to do, to be honest. So I have one legume or one protein liquid left. Okay, and I'm gonna see what I do with that, right? But for now, I wanted to move forward. I didn't want to wait um, to ask till later, and so I'm making this video. All right, my fruits or carb liquids. Um, I am gonna have three fruits, and for my carb liquids, what are my options? Carb liquids. Yeah, I'm not a fan of juices. So even though it's like apple, apple juice, apple juice, full juice, fruit. Like I guess if I wanted to definitely have if i was a stickler and i absolutely wanted to have these numbers in and check off my fruits or carb liquids then i can have like a cup of grapefruit juice or pineapple juice whatever but i decided to be my own person and to not do it okay so the next thing that i did was to go to my fitness pal because i'm like well i'm supposed to have more or less 24 2500 calories and Go back to this, phases one and two of Body Beast have you eating approximately 25% protein, 50% carbs. It's a lot of carbs as you're building, you're putting on, ooh, my muscles look huge, and I totally don't want to look huge. Okay, look, I'm not huge, right? My arm looks big. It doesn't look big. <laughs> anyway, okay. So 50% carbs and 25% fat, right? So... Just by looking at this list, right? I've gotten I've gotten almost everything in. There are a few things like the fruits and one legume that I didn't get in. I should be hitting more or less the goals that the Body Beast plan has for us. Okay? So I decided to go back to my roots of my fitness pal, and it's funny because it uses my, and I think my profile's public, by the way, so if you guys wanna check up uh, my fitness pal, um, and then Barbie Decker, you can probably find me, but I used to track my food all the time before, and you'll probably, probably find evidence that I thought I was eating clean, but I really wasn't. Anyway, this is where you should have fun, you guys. Now, it's really important for you to eat different foods like you don't want to eat I didn't know this before you don't want to eat string beans for two years okay number one that's boring number two that's how you develop food sensitivities by eating the exact same foods all the time and number three when you vary up your foods your body is getting different nutrients as opposed to just getting one food right so when you eat um, avocado you're getting certain types of nutrients from the avocado when you eat coconut oil you're probably getting um, different kinds of nutrients guys i'm not a nutritionist this is, this is just what i've learned um over time and truly because of Sagi. okay so have fun with this and so you're going to be doing two things you're going to be referring whoops you're going to be referring to this okay start with your breakfast and for breakfast we're and to your book you're going to be going for three starches three proteins one fruit one fat so the way that I did it was I looked at my starches, okay? 
So if one starch is 80 calories, right? So I actually looked up cream of rice because really that's what I would do. And I saw that um, one serving, whatever that serving was, I forgot right now, was 80 calories. I'm like, okay, and I'm going to have three. So I'm going to have times three in order to make that 80 times three is 240 in order to make that 240 calories. I was so proud of myself. I'm like, yay, I got my three starches in. Look, three starches. Next is three proteins, right? So if I look at my proteins chart, okay, it tells me that egg whites, two egg whites equal one protein. So I'm gonna put egg whites and two of them, and I'm gonna say times three because I'm trying to get in three proteins. Great. So for my fruit, I looked for, okay, what would I like to eat on any given day? Let's take raspberries. So then I put in my raspberries, that's one serving, and then I needed my fat, and then I'm like, okay, out of this list of fats, what would I most likely like to eat? And chia seeds on any given day, one day it could be chia seeds, one day it could be cashew butter, one day it could be olive oil, coconut oil, okay? So there's my breakfast. I did this with every other meal, okay? So at the end of the day, all right, I did this with snack, lunch, snack, and dinner. Did it take me a while? Yeah, it took me to from the beginning to the end, right? And again, you're starting, you're investing in yourself, you guys. I know that in today's culture, we want, and we're busy, I'm busy too, okay? In today's culture, we want something that's fast, something that's quick, but sometimes you have to invest, right? Relationships are awesome. They also take work. Your business, if you want to be successful in business, it also takes work. You have to stop and breathe, stop and invest the time into things that matter to you, right? It can't all be like, okay, go, 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 go. It's, that's not life. I don't think that's realistic, okay? So you're investing a little bit of time now, and it's going to pay off later into the body that you want. As I said that, I'm like, ooh, look at my shoulders. Okay. So I did this for meal one, two, three, four, five. And again, you guys, I know how to eat. I eat like this all the time. But I did this because I wanted to show you the process, right? And I realized, and to give you credit to those who are listening and be like, oh, my God, why is this so confusing? I'm like, oh, my gosh. It's not that it's confusing. It's something that you've never done before. Like I spent years putting stuff in my fitness pal. I spent years trying to figure out the macros and the ratios and all this stuff. And then after a while, like I just learned, right? So I did all of this. And remember, I didn't get all my food in and I didn't get all my, um, all my one legume in. Okay. So I know some of you are freaking out because you see, okay, she's 1,993 calories. That's 2,000 calories, you guys. Like, it's 2,000 calories, okay? And my goal was about 2,400, okay? So I'm telling you the truth. Realistically, I'd be like, okay, I need to add a little bit more. So um, I would just play with it, right, to see. But I would try to get a little bit higher. But to be honest, me personally, I would, I would be okay with not being 2,400. I would be okay with being 2,200. I would be okay with being 2,300. I'm not a freaking computer. I can live with that and I embrace that and I accept that. Okay, I don't know if my fitness pal has changed, but this is the way that I tried to do it and then I saw that I wasn't able to do it. You wanna go back to this document. You want to eat Again, in phase one and two, 25% protein, 50% carb, 25% fat, right? I can only do it with the app on my phone. I have an iPhone. I don't know how to do it on the computer, like on a, on a, on a desktop to see the percentages. And so I wasn't able to do it, but that's okay. I just, even though I haven't used it in years, I uploaded it. Um, I downloaded the app or whatever you call it, however you say it. And then... You're able to click on a section of your, of your phone that allows you to see, oh, poop, that allows you to see the percentages. So, and I said, oh, poop, because 
I realized that I closed the window by mistake, but I'll show you on my phone. And you're just going to have to trust me on this one that there's a little button that says my nutrition. You click on it. Oh, cool. You can see it, right? And you see the percentages. I'm only able to do this on my phone personally. Maybe no, somebody else knows how to do it, right? So it says 50% carbohydrates. Yay, I hit the mark. 21% fat and 20, 20, it was 28%. What the heck? 28% protein. So I'm a little bit off. Again, I go back to the point that this is not an exact science. It's a little bit off, a little bit less, a little bit more. If you want to be super duper anal, then you go ahead and mess with it until you get exactly 25% and exactly 25% in fats and proteins and 50% in carbohydrates. I'm in the ballpark and I'm totally okay with that, okay? For me, I feel like I'm in the ballpark with the calories and I'm totally okay with that. I heard Sagi saying the other day that you want to trick your body, I think. See, I'm afraid to say something because what if I'm, what I'm wrong? But he said something more or less that the magic number with your calories is you take seven days and then you take the average of that and that's the magic number, okay? But let me, let me, let me back up there because I don't want to say something that is, is not correct and say that he said it. Okay, so that's my process, you guys, okay? So I'm pretty happy with this. I would go ahead and add maybe a little, and I'll do it with you. I was actually waiting to be with you guys um, to do it. So I needed, according to my little chart, I needed maybe just a little more fat. So I would probably add, I'm going to do it in front of you. Mm, what's an oil that I, okay, he might say that I'm going a little crazy with the cashew butter, but let's try. So I needed just a little more fat, and we're not going to use Jif because that cashew butter, I would use raw, let me see, because it's the best for you, organic, if you can, when possible. Okay, we're going to use that one. Two tablespoons sounds like a lot. We'll try one tablespoon. Cool. You see what I mean? Almost 2,100 calories, and I just added one little thing. You see? So, like, don't go crazy, you guys, okay? Hold on. And I'm going to see. I don't think, and this is the thing with the app. I don't think it actually update the, updates the, the little pie chart on, unless you turn off your phone and then try it again. Like, see, because it... It, the values, even though I added something differently and it, it should have changed on my phone, it didn't. So I'm going to turn off my phone just because I want to show you what that, what difference that made. Okay. So where are we? Where does this leave us? Okay. It's turning off. I am going to turn my phone back on. Now my phone's not turning on. Let me stop wasting time one more time. There we go. Okay, so where does this leave us? Again, this video, if your head is spinning, it's okay, because guess what? You can rewind this and you can watch it again. So you want to do body beasts and you're afraid because you are not used to eating so many calories. And I'm telling you that it's okay. All right? We have plenty of success stories in Beach Body with people who have followed the meal plan, women who have, have lost weight and have gotten amazing results. So your first step is to figure out how many calories you need using the Body Beast book or the supplemental uh, caloric intake calculator, which is um, on my blog. And you could also, if you bought the program before, I think you can call uh, Coach Relations um, or contact your coach for that, okay? You're going to figure out how many calories you need for phase one and two. You are going to check the book to see what calorie range you fall in and how that breaks down into starches, legumes, veggies, fruits, protein, fats, blah, blah, blah. You're going to create a chart like this with meal one, two, three, four, five, or breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner. And you're actually going to allow yourself to have some fun to put these values 
in here throughout the day, okay? Again, if you fall into 1,800 calories, take the 2,000 calorie one and stop complicating your life. The biggest piece of advice is to stop complicating your life and to take it more or less, right? More or less, and it's gonna be okay and to have some fun. So please don't ask me to create one for 1,800 or 2,600 because I'm not gonna do it. I did this once. Use it as a model to create your own plan. Then use my fitness pal to input the values as I've shown in this video. And now I'm gonna check my phone to see what my percentages were. Because again, I was aiming for 50% carb, 25% protein, 25% fat, more or less. And I'm not a stickler. Great. So it changes a little bit. I got 48% carb, 23% fat, and 29% protein, right? So again, I'm okay with that. I was okay with the other one, which wasn't exact either, okay? And these foods, you can vary up, okay? You just have to refer to the chart. Again, does it take work? Yes, it takes work. Is it worth it? Absolutely. freaking loopy. All right, you guys, that's it. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. I enjoyed making it. And now it is time to walk the dogs and get on with other parts of my life. Have an awesome day, you guys. And you can check out my other stuff on barbiedecker.com. And I'm also on Facebook and, uh, at Barbie Decker Fitness. All right, guys, have a beautiful and awesome day. I'm going to stop. How do you stop recording? Got it. Bye.